Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another kind of Dead by Daylight video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Reshade so it makes your game looking like this into this. It, it It's so much more vibrant and I think the game looks 10 times better. I'm hopefully going to keep this tutorial like really short, really easy to do, so I'm not going to waste anyone's time. I'll also leave a link to the settings I use and I'll show you guys how to put that into the reshade folder in the description. So if you want my exact settings, you're able to do so. If you want to make your own, you're able to do that as well. All right, with that being said, let's move on with the tutorial. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to head over to the first link in the description and that takes you to the reshade.me website. This is the program that we use to enable all these vibrancy settings. So just go ahead and download this, then you just want to run the setup. Alright, now when you get to this pop-up, you want to click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. What it should do is scan through all the games that you have downloaded on your computer and it should be able to find Dead by Daylight. There might be two on here, like this one and this one. The one you want to click is the Win64 Shipping version, .exe, this one. Hit Use Selected Application. And then the rendering API is Direct3D 10, 11 and 12, so just hit that. Obviously, I've already got Reshade installed, so I am just going to hit update. All right, now, these are the effect packages that you want to install. If you want every single effect in the game, you want to tick every single one of these. I suggest doing this. Even if you don't use them, it's still good to have them. So just select them all and hit OK. Basically, if it asks you to install any effects, just install every single one of them. <laughs> Alright, so once it says the reshade setup is successful, you just want to close out of this. This, that, this is that done. Now what you want to do is just launch Dead by Daylight. And you should see in the top left of your game, reshade and then the version, whatever whatever version you're on. Um, the little reshade pop up to let you know that the game has been installed successfully. This has been whitelisted by Easy Anti Cheat, so there is literally no chance of you getting banned from it. So don't worry about that. Alright, so now we're here. If you guys want to play with your own settings, you want to set up your own vibrancy, anything like that, you can just leave the video here. Your, your reshade is done. But if you want my settings, I'll show you now how to do that. So you just want to head over to the media file link, which is a, the second link in the description, and just download this. Then from here, you want to add it to the reshade settings, which is in the DVD installation folder. So you want to go to, you want to right click Dead by Daylight, go to properties, local files, and browse local files. This will take you to this folder. Then you want to go to Dead by Daylight, binaries, win64, and this is the reshade folder basically. So basically now what you want to do is you want to put these settings into this folder which I just directed you to. So just drag that in there, that should be good, close out of these, and you can head back to Dead by Daylight. So what you want to do when you come back to Dead by Daylight, you just want to press home to open up this uh, menu. This is what it will look like if you haven't got any of my settings on, all of these will be unticked, you can play around with these, you know, you can add anything you want basically but if you want to use my settings you just want to click up here and change this to fub settings now your game basically looks like mine it looks uh, pretty bright really really vibrant i think the game looks 10 times nicer like this and once you've done that you're done with the tutorial that's it all right i think it's time for me to shut up now i'll show you some comparisons in game of what this looks like without reshade and with reshade 